Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know what the body is made out of, the number of cells, the number of atoms, and the quantity or, of each type of atom, now let's take a look and see what our bodies, how our bodies are structured. I've mentioned before in some other videos that essentially our bodies and everything else that we see in the universe are big bags of emptiness. In other words, the nuclei of the atoms, where more than 99% of all the mass resides, well, that's just a tiny amount of volume of the entire atom. For example, here I have pictorially some atoms, and notice at the very center you have the tiny nucleus, and this is way out of scale. Those circles should be hmm, bigger than a football field, so to speak. And then we have these tiny little dots in the center representing the mass of the atoms. Now, if we were able to squeeze those atoms together such that the, we have nucleus against nucleus, well, how big would things be? And we did a video on the universe, and it was amazing that the entire universe would fit inside the orbit of the Earth. Well, how big would a person be under the same circumstances? If we take a regular person, let's say a 70 kilogram person, and we squeeze all the space between the atoms, that now we have nucleus against nucleus, how big would that person be? And it would be smaller than a pin brick on this whiteboard. Now, how many nucleons does the body have? Well, it turns out that the mass of a single proton, which is about the same as the mass of a single neutron, that's therefore they're called nucleons, well, they're 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So if we divide the mass of a person by the mass of a nucleon, we end up with about 4.2 times 10 to the 28 nucleons in the body. Now, the radius of a nucleon, well, that's a little bit less than a femtometer, 10 to the minus 15 meters. And so when we then calculate the volume, assuming that it's a sphere, we get 4 thirds pi r cubed, and so we end up with this being the volume of a single proton or a single neutron. Now, if you want to know the volume of a person just made out of nuclear material, which still would have the same mass of 70 kilograms, we nucleon, I guess I never finished this, nucleon, there we go. We multiply the volume of a nucleon times the number of nucleons in a person's body. So that's the number of nucleons, that's the volume per nucleon, that would be the volume of a person. 1.155 times 10 to the minus 16 cubic meters. Now, that doesn't give us much of a feel of what that is. So when we convert that to cubic centimeters, we have about 1 times 10 to the minus 10 cubic centimeters. Uh, convert to cubic millimeters, well, that gives us 1.155 times 10 to the minus 7 cubic millimeters. Now, we know that cubic millimeters is a very tiny little volume. It would be a tiny fraction of that. So then when we convert to micrometers, a micrometer is 1 1,000 of a millimeter. It would be less, about 11% of the volume of a cubic micrometer. And then if we try to estimate the height of a person at that volume, well, the height would be about one ten thousandth of a millimeter. You would have to stack up 10,000 people on top of one another to make a length of one millimeter. So, you can see that we would be extremely small if somehow we were made out of nuclear material, weighing the same amount, having the same amount of mass, 70 kilograms, but we would be very, very tiny indeed. So again, in order to have structure to matter, you have to have atoms where the electrons are the ones that form the volume of the atoms and the nuclei is where all the mass resides. So you need the mass in the nucleus, in the nuclei, and you need the volume, otherwise there would not be any shape, right? We would do this tiny little thing, the Earth would be a tiny little sphere, well, not that tiny, of course, but relatively speaking, it would be a tiny little sphere, and we'd be tiny little beings living on top of that Earth, and then the gravitational force would be so enormous that life would simply not be possible. For life to be possible, for structure to exist, we have to have atoms that have this enormous volume with these tiny little nuclei at the center that carry the mass. It's an amazing structure, the atoms, and yes indeed, we would be very tiny if we were just made out of nuclear material. <laughs> If you stack up everywhere, so 10,000 people for a millimeter, that would be um, 10 million people for a meter, 10 billion people for a kilometer, so 10 billion, so almost a kilometer. So if you stack every human being on top of each other, of course that would be impossible if you could do it, 
Yeah, it would be about uh, a kilometer in height. So if you one kilometer cube, if you take everybody. No, no. When you cube, that's oh. a very different story. If yeah. if you the volume of the entire world, if all the people of the world put together would probably fit inside this little sphere right here. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal.